see you, everybody. Let me just make sure this is all uh, where it needs to be. Good to see you on a Sunday morning. It's me, Reverend Kevin Lee, Senior Minister for the Metaphysical Chapel of South Florida, and I just want to welcome you to our Center of Light. This is our community of light workers and love, and here in downtown Fort Lauderdale, South Florida. Just wanted to uh, reach out to you guys because I'm absolutely thrilled to bring to you the message today, just this message of love, and and uh, just hope that uh, I hope that everything is coming through okay on this video feed. Let's see, where are we? <laughs> Can't tell if it is or not. Uh, bear with me as we as we figure this stuff out. Is this working? There we go. Yeah, you guys. At least you can you can hear me at least. Absolutely. So anyway, as we push forward through this service. <laughs> As we push forward through this service and we get through this technology, uh, just wanted to tell you guys that we definitely, even though our doors have been closed for some time, our hearts are definitely open. We are here and we have been receiving your text messages. We have been receiving your, your mailed in contributions. We have been receiving your texted in contributions. We have been receiving your ongoing faith pledges, you are uh, helping out more, more, more than you know, and we really appreciate that. And just continue to step in the vibration and stand in that vibration of faith, uh, knowing that uh, this too shall pass, knowing that the dark clouds of life that we experience, these are simply divinity in motion, the creator, this expressive universe, the universe of abundance, is... Uh, av available to provide spiritual lessons at all times. That's what our spiritual lessons are. Our spiritual lessons are, are the silver lining in those dark cloud moments. And uh, I know that many of us are uh, feeling overwhelmed. We're feeling fearful. And that's one of the things that I want to talk about today because uh, as the minister of a community of people uh, of metaphysicians, of spiritualists, of spiritists, and, and people who just celebrate life in such a special way, we have to understand that we are here on earth in human form. Our eternal souls are literally just that. I just gave you the key word, eternal. Our souls, uh, which is the perfect, the more perfect, it's not absolute perfect, actually. Uh, and if you've taken my class, Metaphysics 101, you'll know that to be the truth. But uh, we understand that our souls are definitely a more perfect expression of our highest self and our human self is imperfect. In other words, we're meant to actually come to earth and screw up, to have bad hair days, to gain weight, lose weight, gain weight again, to uh, really to just struggle with dis-ease. And did you notice how I said that dis-ease? I didn't say disease. I said dis -ease. Ease, because our very nature is one of balance, harmony, wholeness, and ease. And when we shift out of the vibration of ease and balance in our life from a health perspective, we enter a state of dis-ease. You like that? I love it. So anyway, I want us to remember that, you know, it's okay to be imperfect. It's okay uh, to use a bad word now and then. We get it. We're human. It's okay to fail in our promises. It's okay to take actions or to think thoughts or to say words that are not of the highest vibration. Because remember, we have to cut ourselves some slack here. If we're meant to be perfect, we would not be on this earth. Our soul would not have needed these lessons. If we were meant to be perfect, we would be in the higher realms of life ministering and serving to other beings of love and light that, uh, that, uh, from that higher perspective. But we are actually here on earth. We're one of the few souls who have chosen, only seven billion souls have chosen to incarnate on earth. Out of the infinite uh, omnipresence of, of, of souls everywhere, there is an infinite number of expressions of souls in the higher realms. And seven billion have come to learn to be students have come to learn to be born to to be born into ignorance which and I say ignorance a lack of understanding of our 
spiritual nature, a lack of understanding of what we came from, which is that divine spark, that presence, that infinite intelligence, the cosmic mind of God. And so we're literally born of this universe. As incarnate beings, our souls are literally stardust. Did you ever think about that? Our souls are literally composed of all the elements from a quantum level to a molecular level to a, 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 a much more solid level. We're composed of all the elements of stars. And those stars are born and they die and they implode and they explode and they do all this stuff and they, they send forward all the elements that make up everything else. And so we as little souls have captured all these, this beautiful, these beautiful elements and compounds of the stars and we've, and we've packed them so ever, ever so beautifully around ourselves. And we've created these beautiful body temples we call human bodies. And so then we're born to these parents. Sometimes most of us, I'll say most of us, I don't think you have to be a good intuitive to know, most of us think our parents are crazy, right? Our whole family is crazy. But guess what? Your soul chose them. God didn't choose them for you. I hope that's not a wake-up call. I hope I didn't burst your bubble. You guys, we chose our crazy family, our bucket of crazy, as we say in Texas. You chose it. You know, you better take a bath in it. So these buckets of crazy we call family and siblings and best friends and even our bosses and coworkers that really push our buttons and drive us crazy. Y'all, these people are in our lives to remind us we have things to work on as souls. We have things to to press forward and evolve from and and to and maybe even to go into a state of introspection to go inward and and recognize you know what there is imperfection in my being i can sense tension in my body temple in my muscles in my uh, vertebrae in my bones my joints i i sense tension in my bloodstream which is high blood pressure i sense uh my heart is aching i sense my spirit is aching. And y'all, those are all red flags that we are in a state of dis-ease, disharmony. We are not aligned with our higher, truer self in those moments. And so all of those little pain points are perfect opportunities to begin pushing forward in life and in, in recognizing we got work to do. And so I want you to realize that in these moments of fear, when we feel overwhelmed, when we feel stressed, when we feel out of control, when we feel a hot mess, you guys, that is a beautiful sign from, from your higher self, from the soul self, from your, really your more perfect self saying, dude, Kevin, wake up. Little Kevin, you need to wake up because you got some work to do. It's time to go to school. <laughs> school is in session. And so that is a time to sit down, take a breath. Take a walk in nature, whatever you need for meditation. But really, just sit down, slow down, close your eyes, go inward. Take a deep breath, center yourself, as we always do. And just release your spirit into the greater spirit of God that's all around you. And we just, and you just open in prayer. Thank you, spirit, for this opportunity. I recognize it's a spiritual lesson because it hurts like hell. <laughs> I recognize this is a spiritual lesson because I'm ready to punch somebody out. I recognize this is a spiritual lesson because I am bored to death with this life, right? And so these are pain points, you guys. And these are times when we have to go inward and we have to use what we have learned on Sunday mornings. We have to use what we have learned in the beautiful metaphysical books that we read on philosophy and channeled higher truth or uh, uh, beautiful teachings of the masters and the gurus and yogis and, and the saints. Uh, any literature we, that we have that's of a beautiful, uh, a beautiful ancient perspective, a prophetic expect, uh, perspective, a, 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 a beautiful mystical teaching. And so we have to go into, we have to take this time to recognize that the teachings are inside. If we don't have the te teachings because we are new to metaphysics, the world of spiritualism, the world of spirituality, that's okay because guess what? You're a divine antenna. And all you need to do 
and don't do what I did, which was ignore your teachers for five or six years thinking you could connect to spirit on your own. You didn't need to do whatever they told you to do, meaning your teachers. <laughs> I didn't meditate for five or six years, you guys. But you guys, take the time to sit for five or ten minutes. If you're only meditating for five minutes, I want to strongly encourage you. Sit in the morning for five minutes in gratitude, opening your heart, pouring yourself out to spirit. Just spread that beautiful soul out into the universe and just sit there in silence, feeling that your soul is omnipresent throughout every aspect of this universe. You have just spread the blanket of you that golden blanket of you out into the universe. You are connected. You are emerged with the universe. Five minutes. Can you do it? Will you do it? Will you bless yourself with five minutes of a higher expression? Just being aware of how precious you are and how the potential inside you. And then later on in the evening, I want to encourage you to do it again. Why is that? Yes, it's difficult to get off your mushrooms, get away from your desk and Facebook and all that other stuff and get out and get away from Netflix and all the other things. But I want you to recognize if you will bless yourself in these moments in, in, in twice a day, five minutes, you guys, that's 10 minutes a day. And maybe every few days we give ourselves an extra minute in this beautiful sitting in the power uh, uh, type of expression. We're sitting in the soul power of ourself fully expanded out into the universe. I'm not trying to talk to a spirit guide or a tree or fairies or angels. I'm just sitting there connected to all that is. And if we revert to that true nature, which is our omnipresent soul expression, expression in, the, in, in the higher realms, we literally begin to awaken the intuitive faculties we, be, we bring forward the functions of this universe, which are purely psychic, and we, bring, and, we, and we access and we align ourselves to our true nature, which is spiritual. Did you hear what I said? Your psychic faculties are simply an expression of the function of this universe. This is a psychic functioning universe, plain and simple. No other way to say it. And that's why we have psychic moments. But don't let all the razzmatazz of psychic faculties and moments or phenomena, don't let that uh, uh, become your illusion. Don't let that become the shiny, pretty things that you, your attention is attracted to because all of that fades. It means nothing. Did you hear what I said? The psychic faculties mean nothing. What matters is what you do with them. And that is the spirituality that you are. That's your very nature. Your very nature is spirituality. And so by sitting in the power and allowing your soul to express itself, to allow your soul to, to literally emerge from within this body temple and express out into the, all of the universe, we are aligning ourselves with synchronicities and possibilities. The power of our purpose comes much more fully into expression, in manifestation. It, it, we become more synchronistic. Those coincidences of who we are begin to happen at a much more rapid pace. And that's what living is all about. When we live in those synchronistic moments, the psychic fac faculties are simply a secondary byproduct of that. They're not the primary. The primary is your spiritual nature. Secondary is our psychic f faculties and, and our psychic potentials. So as, as our primary spiritual nature of being as souls... We're here to learn and we use our psychic faculties, our intuitive faculties, to, to advance ourselves on a spiritual level as souls. And that's the power of meditation. And that is, y'all, that's the, that's the golden key right there, meditation. If you came and, and you learned nothing else from me today, other than <laughs> how good I look today, because you can't see me on the camera, I don't think... <laughs> <laughs> but you can hear my angelic voice from the ethers, like music from the spheres, as they say. You know what? At least you've just learned that. Meditation is the golden key because it unlocks the faculties and brings us uh, into the synchronistic phase of our spiritual nature. It, it aligns us with our true self. That is the power of meditation, and that is why we meditate every Sunday for five or more minutes during the church service. It is the foundation as human beings of realizing our purpose of life. If we are not meditating, you will never find your purpose in life. I guarantee it. 
you're going to find some fun things to do and you're going to feel like you're contributing, but you will never advance yourself on a spiritual level if you're not meditating. That's just, a, that's just plain truth. And that's what spirit has said. And it makes total sense, doesn't it? So let us revel in this truth. Let us celebrate that we have this truth. We understand these teachings. And, and how gorgeous is it that we understand where, and, and we have to actually bless the people outside our walls who don't understand what we understand. And they don't have these synchronicities the way we do. We celebrate them. They're souls on their own journey. But we are so grateful that we understand these metaphysical teachings. And we, we must say every day to spirit and to God, to the angels, to our loved ones in spirit who guide and support us and inspire us. Thank you. Thank you for the awareness, for the wisdom. Thank you, great spirit. Thank you, Mother, Father, God. For all the wisdom and, and the guidance and the signs from spirit that you're with us, that we're never alone. Thank you for the knowledge that we don't die. Thank you for the knowledge that we are eternal spiritual beings having a temporary human experience. Spirit, we're so grateful this morning. Our hearts just open and just pour love and we mirror back to you the beauty that we are. We mirror back to you because it's because of you that we exist. It's because of you that we are love, that we can see love because love expresses through us by our very nature. We are born loving creatures. We're not born hostile and angry. We are taught to be hostile and angry. But by our, by our very nature, we are beautiful, joyful, happy, exuberant beings. And sometimes we forget that. And I want to just have us think for a moment about what can we do in our daily lives that can bring us back to a point of alignment with God when we take our little moments uh, to sit in the power or to walk in nature or to, uh, to master meditation, right? When we sit in those moments with spirit, I'm holding up a beautiful aventurine crystal heart with beautiful greens and purple and crystal quartz, beautiful clear quartz. And we can hold these crystals that hold resonance and frequency and they, they hold intelligence. And I'm holding up a beautiful box of jasmine incense because this sets the space and it sets the 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 the, the just our very being and it prepares us to connect with a higher power. And I'm also holding up now, you know, intuitive oracle cards, angelic cards. These are div divination tools. The tool is the power is not in the tool. The power is in my in the person, in the being, in the instrument that uses them. What is my intention in using them to find my path? And so when we sit in meditation and we raise our frequency, we access these tools. Again, the tools have no power. My pendulum has no power. My oracle cards have no power. My tipping table has no power. My Ouija board has no power. These tools have no power. We are the power. Our mind is the intention, the fuel that powers the, the psychic potentials that we express. And our spirituality is the intention behind it. The frequency of light behind the tools we use and our actions. Does that make sense to you guys? I hope so. Never be afraid of any tool that is used to access divinatory, prophetic, guiding, inspiring, higher resonance information. Never be afraid of it. We are beautiful beings of love and light, powerful beings of love and light. We're so, when we pray, we radiate light like you, like you can't imagine. That's how powerful we are. And so knowing this truth and knowing these teachings today, I want you to realize you have just planted the seed of truth into your mind, into the garden, that beautiful garden of your mind. And every day, I want you to think about what I've said from time to time, put a rubber band on your wrist. Pop yourself once a day. <laughs> Think of Kevin. 
Think of these teachings. Think of the metaphysical chapel. And I want you to be aware that you hold the power and the potential of greatness. You hold the same Christed consciousness that Yeshua ben Joseph, Jesus, the prophet, our brother, our brother from another mother, <laughs> he walked the earth and he perfected his, his soul in one life. Yes, he was an incredibly advanced soul, probably much further evolved along than, than all of us put together. Jesus was the Christed consciousness that the planet needed at that time. And that lesson has endured for 2,000 years. There's a reason why all the ascended masters that we hear from in our spiritual circles, circles that come forward and speak to us, why they honor us by saying that they recognize the Christ consciousness that was in Jesus is above all of them. They bow to the Christed light within the man, Jesus, the prophet, our brother, a human brother. Because there is value in that Christed light, that example. And that same example, that's, that light that was in Jesus is exactly what, is what he said to his disciples. Know ye not, ye are gods. The works that I do, you will do, and you will do greater. And Jesus was telling those human disciples, every, average everyday people, you have the same potentials I do. And you can do greater things than I can do. If you will align your mind, if you will change your mind. Jesus, was, Jesus took my catchphrase, didn't he? Because he said, disciples, Peter, Paul, Simon, and James, and all the others, you guys change your minds and you will change your lives. That's what Jesus was saying. <laughs> Probably had a t-shirt that said that too. And so we have to recognize that we hold that Christed consciousness potential. So don't let the dark clouds of the news channels, don't let the dark clouds of your city governments get, or your neighbors or your family members or your household members, don't let your own mind run away with crazy and be fearful of the world situation and the crisis taking place be cautious because you have a human body to protect. You have work to do on earth. We have to be cautious. We have to be right thinking. But recognize we cannot stand in fear. You can't stand in fear because that tells me and that should tell you, you are not aligned with your higher truth, that you are a powerful person with divine potential, Christed consciousness just oozing out of you. So re, re, just introspect, just look inward from time to time. Spend five minutes twice a day, morning and evening. Bless yourself with that time and celebrate the light of Christ that you are in human form with two feet, two hands, a, a beautiful mind, beautiful thoughts, beautiful words, doing beautiful things. That is the power you hold. And friends, I want to celebrate this message today. I want to thank you for being a part of this message today. And before we go, I love to just share. This morning, I'm going to share with you a beautiful meditation. And, and this will be a short one. But I want us to just take a moment. Let's do this right now. Put your hands on your heart. Close your eyes. And I want you to take a deep breath in. Pulling in that beautiful pranic life force, the essence of the stars themselves. And let the breath out, holding that beautiful starlight inside. Again, deep breath in. Holding the starlight of divinity inside. Breathing out, releasing the Mother Earth. All negativity, worry, and stress. I can feel the resonance of Mother Earth and the resonance of my beautiful divine being, that of, 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 of God in expression, right here, right now. And just embody this resonance. Let it wash through you. And just imagine from head to toe this beautiful oscillating, this beautiful, just penetrating color of a vibrant Kelly green. Don't you love it? The color of new leaves on a tree in spring. Love it. My favorite color in springtime. 
because that green tells us there is life there. There is life force pulsating through that, that the dark wood or the, the lifeless stems. And that life is bursting forward. And that's the same life within us. And often it's just stagnant. It's just present. And if we allow that to now just begin moving up and down from our toes to our head, back down to our toes, back up to our head, oscillating up and down in frequency. Around us, see it, imagine it beginning to encircle you, to swirl around you like a beautiful divine tornado, and then wrapping around you from head to toe, head to toe, a beautiful shell, a beautiful sphere of energy, you create this radiance of, of moving dynamic life force. And this empowers us. And you can see in the very core of you this beautiful golden light beginning to build like a tiny sphere. And it has glitter. It, it's, it's, it's reflecting light into all dimensions. And the power of divinity, the power of you, the purpose of you is within that beautiful golden sphere. And it's oscillating and it's spinning and it's rapidly turning and it's growing in size. And the essence of God is stronger and the presence of Christed light is there. And it begins to spin so quickly at a quantum level that it literally overtakes the whole image of your body. And it literally is a star in motion. Bright, brilliant, radiant, white, so bright you cannot even define the color. And it literally is beaming. Rays of light emanate from it in all dimensions, in all directions, infin an infinite number of expressions of, of rays of light. And it literally is dynamically moving and it's powerful and it holds purpose. And that is what you represent symbolically. And that and you literally are creating universes with your very thoughts and words and actions. And so twice a day, just embody this image and, and just know that you are power and you are potential and you are Christed consciousness. You are soul star, fire, power, energy, and motion. And you are perfect exactly as you are made. God is with you because God expresses through the soul star self of you. And we hold this image. And let's take a deep breath in. And let's let that breath out, holding this beautiful pulsating this pulsar of light, this beautiful quantum light just beaming into all dimensions. Powerful, powerful soul star light. Beautiful. And as we hold this image, we begin to come back to the body temples, recognizing and moving our fingers and toes, recognizing that anything is possible. Because God simply is love in motion. Because God is expressing through our, our, this beautiful antenna, this beautiful human body that we have been given for these beautiful 80 to 100 years. So the body you have been given is perfect. And the voice you've been given is perfect. And the mind you're given is perfect. Your health is, is perfect. Know that we love you. We're always here for you. And ladies and gentlemen, our doors may be closed, but our hearts are always open. Reach out to us. Don't forget us. Make sure that every Sunday morning you connect with us at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you would, click below, click the like button. Make sure you click the follow button. And I would encourage you to follow the little arrow down and, and select to follow us first so that you always see... And you always receive and you all know that you're always supported by the Metaphysical Chapel and by Kevin Lee, my ministry, my virtual ministry. I do this for you guys. I do this because I care, because I know that I bring through spirit, because I know that there is a message, there is a light frequency that you need to receive. And for those of you who have faith pledges with us, we thank you for continuing your electronic and your, and your mailed-in faith pledges. Thank you so much. We're receiving them. Thank you for your text pledges. And thank you for mailing in random checks and to support us. And, and, and thank you cards with cash in them. It helps us tremendously. And I want you to remember that <clears throat> the Metaphysical Chapel is always here for you. And if you want to follow me, if you want to uh, stay in touch with me throughout the week, because the week is just a little bit overwhelming, then follow me. I've got all kinds of things going on in my ministry. 
you can go to my Facebook channel, which is uh, facebook.com forward slash Rev Kevin Lee. And that's my spiritual teaching uh, web page. And I do uh, uh, live readings on there. We do discussions. I post on there. You can slip over to YouTube. I've got a beautiful channel there with a lot of my sermons and meditations. You can go through those when you're struggling. There's a, play, a playlist just of meditations, you guys. There's a playlist just of sermons, you guys. So go to youtube.com forward slash Rev Kevin Lee. And I want you to like any any of those videos. And I want you to uh, drop a comment. Tell me what you like about the video. Tell me what you would like to see me speaking about in my videos. I want you to click the subscribe button because that'll keep you posted when I post new videos. And it'll let you know when I go live. And that's the power of this virtual ministry. It's so incredible, you guys. And that's how we stay together. And that's how we build a community. That's how we make change. That's how we change our mind by stepping into these teachings. And that's how we change our lives. So definitely be a part of this community. Like and follow us. Get on the email list at our website, metaphysicalchapel.com or my personal ministry website, revkevinlee.com. Stay in touch. Reach out. Know that I love you. And namaste. Have a beautiful week, you guys.